Music is powerful stuff. That's the belief of thousands of talented teens from across the country who prove the power of classical music each week on the NPR program, From the Top. Airing locally on WCLV 104.9 FM, From the Top travels the 50 states to discover and spotlight some of our nation's best and brightest teenage musicians. Recently, host Christopher O'Reilly and the rest of the show's crew came to Northeast Ohio to record their classical variety program inside the Cleveland Institute of Music's new Mixon Hall. And this Saturday, February 9th at 5 p.m., From the Top airs that CIM program on WCLV. Now, we sent our idea stream cameras out to capture what it's like to get from the top to the stage. <laughs> The mission of the program, uh, as I began, uh, uh, is to make heroes of kids, uh, really of, of kids in the arts, and to elevate the arts in the same way that we have such extraordinary respect um, for athletics. I want to take these young kids who often feel isolated um, in their small communities, not to mention the large communities, and let them feel the same kind of uh, gratification and respect that their peers feel in other fields. I see From the Top as a wonderful arena for young musicians to connect with an audience perhaps unfamiliar with uh, the music written by the greats. Uh, it's, a, it's a way of introducing classical music to audiences in a way that takes the music very seriously while really gets at the heart of the matter, which is the connection with the performers, making live music. And the way we're able to bring the kids uh, in the, their truest light uh, to, to life on the air uh, makes it that much easier for an audience, perhaps an uninitiated classical music audience, uh, to give the music a chance based on the empathy that they feel with our young guests. People say, you know, this gives us a sense of hope for the next generation that our country is not going to hell in a basket, that there are great kids out there and we don't hear about them. And there are. This country is full of extraordinary kids. We spotlight all kinds of kids on From the Top, uh, from some very serious kids to, you know, the other end of the spectrum where you have kids who are really just having a, a great time. We don't really have a a template or an ideal or a sense of who our best guest would be because our idea, our concept, our mandate, our mission is to be truest to the personalities behind the performers and allow themselves to show in their truest light. Okay, everybody, let's all get serious and uptight now, okay? No, no, no. This is a classical music show and it do has no room for any fun. It's a thrill to be here in Cleveland uh, because there's such a long tradition of great music uh, in this city. We have had kids from Cleveland from inception. We've had great kids and a, and a large number of kids. It's one of our more fertile markets. And so to finally be able to come here uh, where we can showcase some of these brilliant young musicians right here in their own town and uh, uh, on this show, It'll be no exception. I think we've got uh, two of the five uh, performances uh, from the Cleveland area. We have a violinist, uh, Elena Merrimi. Uh, she's about 15, I believe, who will be doing a uh, solo violin piece with uh, Chris O'Reilly accompanying her. I'm playing uh, Beethoven's Fifth Sonata, which was nicknamed Spring. It's really kind of challenging to play Beethoven because you have to have a lot of power in Beethoven, but you also have to be absolutely accurate and precise, otherwise things just don't work. So to get the moods and the everything across, you have to have that power, but you also have to have the accuracy. It makes for a really um, challenging combination. It's very beautiful and melodic in some parts and in other parts it's more stormy. It's, it's, kind of, it's a very cool piece, it's fun to play. And all that, but I think mm -hmm. it's not just a question of loudness, I think it's a, it can be a question of 
how you want to mold those staccatos so that they're not all the same, yeah. however you want to lead it to the next bar. Okay. It's just something to think about. Sure. Chris was a great choice uh, because A, he's a great musician, B, he has an extraordinary knowledge of pop culture and kid culture. I don't know how he absorbs it all. He's also very, very intelligent, very well read, uh, a quick study. Um, and really, really relates to these kids. So he can talk to these kids about almost anything that they're interested in, and he can talk to them about it on his own, at his own level. At the same time, uh, he works with them as musicians in a way that only a truly great and gifted musician can. And it's amazing that he's able to accompany almost all of these kids. You know, it's different sides of the brain for all of this, and he's also very quick-witted. I agree with you, Daniel. It's got a good beat, a good dance to it. <laughs> it's a pretty good piece. Mm -hmm. I think I was most surprised not just by the level of talent uh, of the kids on our show, but initially what I found extraordinary was finding a, a young tenor in North Dakota, uh, not part of a major music conservatory, had never been to a music camp in his life. The fact of the matter remains, first class music instruction is available anywhere in this country you care to look. The Hoopses are a family of three, uh, a trio, uh, two violins and a viola. Well, we're playing a serenade for two violins and viola by Zoltan Kodai. And we like it because it's just energetic all the way through. Um, it's just really, it's full of intensity. And it just and rhythms that are just so precise and intricate. The melody bounces off of each other. It's yeah. fun, you know, to pass it along. There's not that many pieces that are written for two violins and viola. So then when you find one that's really awesome and that's for two violins and viola, you sort of dig it, you know? You're like really like, into it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I noticed Chad, you know, I, I know Chad to be a, a, a real virtuoso, and I, if he's playing second violin on this, right? And does he try and crack you up? And, and yeah, and then there's been times when he's just made us burst out laughing at performance. It's been hilarious. <laughs> he's got an impish look to him, sort of yeah. mischievous. What makes us young at heart, I think, is our passion for what we yeah. do and our commitment to what we do. And with that passion, you always stay young. When you're doing what you really believe in and you're excited about doing and, and you're eager to get to work to do it, it really does help keep you young. From the Top, recorded at the Cleveland Institute of Music, airs Saturday, February 9th at 5 p.m. on WCLV 104.9 FM. For more information, log on to the Applause website online at wviz.org where you can watch the show on demand. Meanwhile, From the Top's companion television program, From the Top, live from Carnegie Hall, airs here on WVIZ-PBS Wednesday nights at 7.30.